have invaded my mind and my body. Say it! You know I'm killing these rappers, I'm coming back again. I keep the chopper dead on the melody, dropping damage. I'm a bandana on a banana clip and I'm blaming. I'm calling the doctor, they gotta properly pop it, burn it. I'm killing the beat, I got these niggas giving some manic and panicking. I'm from another planet, I crash landed it. I ever with these niggas, be more with rapping and babbling. For that, I play the execution and swing of the javelin. Facts! You niggas don't write like that. Bar heavy, hit them with a hook and strike like that. Punch line at the punch, bring a fight night back. Breaking hands, who told you to hold a mic like that? I'ma keep this shit going like a mic soundtrack. All bars be the reason why your iPhone crack. I dwell in the jungle with a python side. I'm a beast, I dare you to make eye contact. I'm on another level, you can't avoid it, you never do. But look at me, I'm doing this shit. They said that I never could do Niggas disrespect and we coming back Put the metal to you And I know why you really mad at me Cause I'm better than you Just to let you know you in some danger Hit the beat to magnify my anger Had to hit him with another banger Training in the hyperbolic chamber Coming out I'm feeling like I'm Frazier You could die in front of these Frazier The shop awake the dead and wake the neighbors This will get the busting like a waiter Asalaamu Alaikum meet Jamaica I'm blacking out this time flavor flavor Body parts I put them in containers This the part where no one comes to save you Coming up I'm on a double up You better knuckle up I'm about to fuck him up and jump a nigga Like he double touch I cut him up and then I run him up on any one of you Niggas be acting like they really want it, but they ain't tough enough. Woo! They say I'm way above average. Ay. I put the beat in the casket. Yeah. Then piss on the grave like a savage. Yeah. Man, fuck all that, fuck all that dab shit. They want my album, I'm high in demand. Lying the piece, saying I ain't the man. Lyrical soldier, the mic in my hand. Cooking these rappers, they fly in the pan. I listen to me like I am a fan. Murder you live, you can die on the gram. At that with the rap facts for the backpack. Hashtag, I'm going as light as I can. Draw life support and I'm about to cut the core. I've been murdering niggas, they showing no remorse. I've been ten toes down when they come to wars. And I'm a stand off rider like a hoverboard. You ain't really saying shit and I be fucking bored. Just another whack nigga with a corny cause. My 16s leave you with the stank face to the left, waving both hands like double doors. Rappers hear me, they get in they feelings. Petrified when I be in the building. Cause they on my list for ass kickings. That I'm passing out. Wendy Williams. Name me your nigga, my rhyming is better. I beat the track up like Conor McGregor. Take stabs at whoever. Break the blade off in your chest. Screaming Wakanda forever. Wee. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, the we, oh, we live, live, baby. We live, we live. Yeah, we, we in on. there. We, we on, we God on, we damn, on. Damn, man, my forehead looks shiny as shit. <laughs> Get these lights off me, man. <laughs> hey, yo, what's yeah. up, what's up, what's up, man? Welcome to the Drake's Discussion Podcast, man. We are on episode 123, man. Um, I got my homeboy, Primetime Naeem, in here with me. Let's go. I got my homeboy, OZ, in here with me. Here. Chilling on the couch. Look at him. Look at him. Look, Look at him. Look, I got my... And uh, video land, I got my homeboy Crook back there. Crook, what's up, man? Salute, salute, salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, look, first and foremost, man, we want to shout out the Patreon users, man. Uh, we wouldn't be doing this shit without y'all. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. We got the $1 tier popping off now. I know y'all been seeing it popping up on your timeline. You know what I'm saying? We got the $1 tier going on now. Um, make sure you subscribe to our Patreon. Um... Follow us on all social media platforms, blah, 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 right there in front of you. Boom, boom, boom. Um, follow my boy, Primetime Naeem, on his shit, because he be doing his thing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Agree to disagree. Take you know what I'm saying? Out. And, um, yeah, let's get into this shit, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and share that joint. You, you talking about on you, for you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's already on my page, bro. It's already, it's already going on my page. It's already going but yeah, man. Um, okay. How was everybody's week, man? How's your week, bro? Bro, my week is good, man. I can't complain, man. I'm living, bro. Okay, all I'm right. June was lit. I got done up as usual with this weekend. Okay, <laughs> okay. Some bottles and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Okay. You was out here living. That's all right. For sure. For sure. For man, sure. what's what's been good with you, bro? Hold up, man. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> get right. Get right. Get, get right. Y'all excuse us while we get right on the on these lives and stuff, man. Cause we trying to we trying to I push the. I'm I'm gonna tag you in the jump, bro. I'm gonna tag you in the jump. We're trying to get we're trying to get right with the lives and stuff. You know what I'm saying? While we talk to y'all, but we can't have no silent. You know what I'm saying? In the background and shit. So I'm trying to get right while I'm trying to talk. And my man Primetime Naeem ain't talking. He's sipping his drink while he done already got his live straight. I'm ready, man. This is a podcast, man. We gotta talk, dog. What's up? I see you, Shayu. Yo, what up? What up? What up? Who in here? Yeah, yeah. Don't be yeah. shy, people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go ahead, comment. Yeah, go hit, ahead and comment. Hit that like button. Oh, yeah, you said whatever. Yeah, yeah, well, hey, talk to us, bro. Shoot, yeah. man. Uh, I had to get my mind right for a little bit, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just took a little 
hiatus real quick. No. Oh yeah, tell the people what you do, Ozzy, because I mean a lot a lot of people know you, but not a lot of people know what oh, you I'm do. I'm a motherfucking rapper, and if you don't know that, then you've been under a rock somewhere. Yeah, let's I'm go. Right. Rap my ass off. Here's my ass, and that was yours. Shit. <laughs> 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 I rap my ass off. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. So what's uh what was the last project you came out with, man? Go ahead and uh, Return of the King. Mm-hmm. Return of the King. That's my last project. I think it was uh sixteen tracks on that joint mm-hmm. that was like the longest lp i ever did yeah. it was my sophomore lp from uh it stemmed off of king the original yeah so it was king and now there's return of the king yeah that joint was dope man yeah. I, I fuck with the um the uh, album cover too man appreciate it man yeah yeah that yeah took me a lot. that was the most expensive album i had to create <laughs> oh shit i ain't even gonna lie to you bro everything what? was just like why 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 you say why you say it was the most expensive? Explain Bro, to us. I'm talking videos, I'm talking studio time. Yeah. I'm talking damn wardrobe, all travel, all that. You know what I'm saying? And independently too. So it's like Yeah. Yeah, that was but it was worth it though. It took me well how how many years? Three years to make that? Ooh. Mm. Three years to make that. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, man. Hey, you gotta invest in yourself, man. Yeah, so, first and foremost, man, like a lot of and a lot of artists don't do that. They want other people to do it for them. They don't want to go out and get it, man. Dang. And that's one thing I've always respected about you, man. You go out there and you get it, man. You get it yeah. on your own. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Um, all right, so let's get into the shit, man. Um, first and foremost, man. Um <laughs> first and foremost, man, let me let me tell you about this conversation that I had. And I always talk about a conversation that I had. At the beginning of this podcast, and I think that's what I'm gonna start doing from now on. So I had this conversation with this young lady, man. And um, first and foremost, this shit was a wild conversation, right? But she put some insight to me about what women really want, yo. So we were sitting there watching the porno. Let me just start off by that. We were sitting there watching the porno, man. All right, and, um, story time. Yeah, we were sitting there watching the porno. And it was a group of us, you know what I'm saying? But her and I were having. Wait, 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 bro. <laughs> <laughs> a group of y'all out here watching the porno this together? This was Campus Crossing Days. This okay, wasn't all right, recently. All right, say no more. Say this no wasn't more. recently. This was Campus Crossing Days. Say no so more. So this was Campus Crossing Days, man. <laughs> we sit there, we, we sit there, group of people, we watching this porno, right? And um, Shorty was talking about, like, the girls were talking about big-ass dick. It was, oh, yeah, dick got to have a big-ass dick, da 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 she was brave enough to stand on her own hill and say, shit, I don't want all that dick. Give me a nigga that's average size. My eyes lit up like Christmas trees. Say what now? Huh? Oh what was God. it? Huh? Average? Why average? I got questions now. You got to tell me something. So, boom. She was like, yo, who the fuck is taking all that dick? That's what she said. She asked, who the fuck is taking all that dick? And then she looked at her friends and she was like, bitch, you not taking all that dick. You be squirming. The last nigga, like, she was calling niggas out. I was like, okay, respect. Respectfully. I, don't I was about to say, how did how did she know how to afraid? <laughs> because we was in college, nigga. It was fucking in front of each other. Oh my god. We was in fucking Damn. college, yo. God. Yeah. Like, yo, I, bro, orgies was like a, a, a fucking thing in college. Like if like if you didn't have if you didn't have an orgy at some point in time in college, like you didn't really go to college. Like if you didn't see like, I didn't young. go to college, apparently. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 yes, you no. did, bro. Yes, you did. Whoa. All, all of us say, say it's indigo. All of us say it's indigo. That won't, no. All right, hold on, bro. My definition and your definition of an orgy are two okay, different all things. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right all right, 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 all right. I'll back off of it. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Now, fucking with someone else in the same room. Yeah. Nigga, there was a. There was a switch that happened. Oh it my wasn't God. successful, but there was a switch that happened. I don't, man, I must have been drunk that night. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're going to save it for Patreon. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're saving it for Patreon. Since I've been rapping, I'm in college now. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man, my man. All right, man. So, like, let's get down to the nitty gritty, man. We got the first laughs out the way, but let's get down to the nitty gritty, man. So everybody heard about the baby situation, right? At the bowling alley. Yeah. Yeah. So a homie was uh so let me I'm gonna give y'all a background story. So the nigga that he was fighting at the bowling well, the nigga that got jumped at the bowling alley. I won't say the baby was fighting him because he only got off one hit. So the the nigga that got jumped at the bowling alley was Danny Lay's little little brother, older brother? Danny Lay's brother. 
I don't know if a little older, bigger, smaller, whatever. My question is, where the fuck was his boys at? Like, I'm going to show, I'm going I'm to I'm play the video. I'm going to play the video for y'all real quick, real, real quick, so y'all can see it. So, all right. So, niggas was fighting at the bowling alley, right? My thing is, why the fuck was niggas fighting on the fucking lane? That's the worst place to fight in the bowling alley, right? And then on top of that, these niggas ain't even have on no fucking bowling shoes. Who was bowling? Who was bowling? Mm -hmm. Popped off right there. That's right. Going down there. Right. But it was a big nigga in the back. I don't know if y'all saw him on the left. It was a big nigga in the back. My man put his foot in the gutter, and he had his fucking foot. In. He was solid. Mm. The whole fight. The whole fight. He was solid. But old, boy, old buddy got his ass whooped. And I'm just, I'm just to the point of, if I go out and I know it's on site, if I tell a nigga on the internet it's on site, I'm going to have my niggas with me when I roll up, and it's going to be some on-site shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna have my niggas that's ready to fight. I'm not just gonna have any rando ass nigga with me. I'm gonna have my niggas with me that's ready to fight. It's probably a whole bunch of scenarios that went down with that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it sounds like they rolled up on him. Not, you know what I'm saying? Not the other way around. You know what I mean? And you know, he he said he was out there uh, dolo. He said he, if I had only one of my homeboys, it would have been a different story. That's what homie said. Anyway. But but he wasn't. He flew out there. He took a flight out there. The baby was in Charlotte. They were in Charlotte. The baby was in Charlotte at the bowling alley. I don't know. They'll get us out. I know. I know. I don't know. I don't think the baby hit him though, because they got TMZ got some other footage up there where he do something and it just knocked the cup out of his hand. It's the other people that did something. The baby ain't really even. I mean, yeah, from the video I saw, it didn't even look like the baby did much. It was that big dude. The big dude had him by about a hair and shit that was fucking right. up. And and look, man, y'all young niggas need to know something, bro. If y'all if a nigga tell you it's on site, don't wear a fucking hoodie until you see that nigga and that on site is over with, bro. Because that hoodie coming over your head and it's a fucking rap, yo. Because a lot of these young niggas don't know how to fight, bro. If I if I fight a nigga and he got a hoodie on, oh, it's a fucking rap for you, dog. That hoodie's going over your head and you getting pummeled, dog. Pummeled. You feel me? Like we're not, no, we're not doing this, man. We're not doing this, dog. We're yeah. not. And then the fact of the matter, like you gotta think about it too. If you thought it was gonna be a one on one, my dude, like you crazy. Bro. Yeah, nah. Like, like you talking about a guy that's like getting people out the hood, feeding people, giving right. people jobs. Yeah, you know that's a lot riding on that. So if you damage him, you gonna take me out of a job. I right, can't let you do that, bro. Right, you know right. In Charlotte, in Charlotte, at that, in his hometown. Like, come on, man. I'm come I'm on. surprised homie ain't had a strap for him. Cause that was be, be the first thing I do is pull the strap out. If I if I see that many like five six dudes, right? Oh yeah, right, right, right. Um, like he he came out there and I and I think it was more so for a publicity publicity stunt. However, you know, do I think that he was wrong for doing it? I think that he was wrong the way he went about doing it. But he but he wasn't um but he wasn't wrong for standing up for his sister. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I understand. That's why the straps didn't come out because his family. You know? uh, yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Shit. But if I'm getting my ass beat like that, then the strap gonna come out. The strap might not come out right away. <laughs> but if y'all start beating my ass like that, somebody getting shot. Maybe the baby ain't getting shot. <laughs> but when somebody getting shot. He threw, it, he threw it off though when he said on site. When he said on site. Yeah. Back in the day when he said it. Yeah. They finally linked up. It was a wrap. Man. Yeah. I mean, what you expect? Yeah. And a lot of time passed since he posted on site on Twitter and then eventually saw the baby. That was a lot of time that passed, man. Yeah. Like, if I, I feel like this, man. Like, it ain't like he 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 a broke nigga. He could have caught a flight. Danny Lay got money. She could have fronted him some bread for the flight. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's why was it so long with the on site? That's what I that's just what I want to know, man. It, it was too long. It was too long for me. It was too long. And then you know, you know, bro got a track record. Like, I mean, every he don't never really take no L. I think the only L he took was when he said something about, you know, the LGBT people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, nah. That's the only yeah. L he took. Yeah. Right? That, like, 
It's all W. Yeah, right. right. Like, legit. Right. Like, nah, legit. Like, why even test them on, on that battlefield? Like, nah, dog. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking it there with you. You know what I'm saying? Because. Nigga, you killed a nigga in Walmart, bro. Like the fuck, the fuck. I think you gonna do to me in this bowling alley. You know what I'm saying? I gotta catch, I gotta catch you slipping. You know what I'm saying? I gotta catch you on some late night creep shit and roll up. I, nigga, I'm I'm staking out, nigga. I'm staking out, nigga. Like what's up? I'm strategically planning, nigga. Fuck you thought this was, man. Shit. All right, man. Enough about the baby and his antics, man. Um. We got a couple of things to get into today, man. Um, first and foremost, man. Now, I want, I want, I want to, I want to pose this question. I'm pose the question to you and Oz, man. Do you think it's it's a safe space for men to communicate anywhere? Like what you mean, communicate? Like, do you think we have a safe space to to communicate? Uh, I, I, that shit. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> I see, what, I see what he's saying. What, what, what he what he's basically trying to say is, can men actually express their their opinions honestly mm-hmm. without being, you know, taken to the woodshed by women? You know what I mean? Just for speaking our truth. You get what I'm saying? So if like you know, guys are just talking, you know, just open and honestly, you know to, what I mean? To one another or the female? Just to one another. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if it's out there online or on a platform where other people can see it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it seems that women have so much to say about what men have to say if we just speak in our honest opinion. Right. Like, if we got anything to say about, like, oh, you know what I mean, this is what I want from a woman or this is what I think about women or whatever whatever the case may be, or even just talking about our emotions, right. they might call us soft. You get what I'm saying? Bigger fat. So, like, I, I feel like, I do feel like, you know, it, it, it's tough in that regards where it's like, you know, no matter what we say, is like, yeah, 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 we can't, yeah, we can't really. No matter what you say, yeah. you say something about like this. Is what I feel women should do. Next thing you know, you got that one, that one person, that one female. She say the same thing that you said, <laughs> but just put men on it. I'm like, man, shut up. <laughs> Where you come from? <laughs> Listen. So, um, real talk. So it's funny you said that because. Um, it's this, it's this woman who I listen to and, you know, she talks about like femininity and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And I was like, damn, yo, I was like, I've never heard a woman talk about femininity like that because, you know, nowadays, you know, women look at femininity as a weakness and, you know, we got a lot of masculine women out there, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to be like the men. Right. So anyway, you know, I, I, I was fucking with what Shorty was talking about. And so I repeated the same words that she said. But because it was coming out of my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Fucking mansplain. You don't have to mansplain that shit to Because me, I was yeah. a guy saying this, but I'm saying the same shit the woman said. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying the same. The message is the same, yeah. but they don't. They, they ain't want to hear it from me. But so the message like, is different. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, so they ain't want to they ain't hear it, but I'm like, yo, that's facts. I'm like, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like amongst bros, like when you're amongst your bros, if y'all out and about, y'all could chop it up and talk about specific things but like if it's going to be harder when you in that female presence because she she for once she look at you like that yeah yeah like, yeah, 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 yeah so breaking down it's kind of like what's up with him like yeah you know it's just like that though right yeah and and see like not only that like if we if we just sitting here talking about stuff and it's like man you know like you know it's so hard man you know trying to be a man and do this, do this. They're like, oh, what you gotta, what you gotta complain about? We, we in a patriarchy. You know what I'm saying? This is a patriarchy. You ain't got nothing to complain about. Women got it way worse. It's, it's always a competition. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I'm saying? It's like, not a competition. It's not a competition. It's not a competition. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking my truth. Mm-hmm. I didn't say men have it worse. You know what I mean? I just said, yo, like, I, you know, trying to be a man in this world is not as easy as people may may think. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bigger facts. And you know, that's all I'm trying to say. But then it's like, oh, it's a competition. Oh, pl- oh, please, women are are this. They get uh, well, I can't say certain words on here, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, they get assaulted. They get this. They get like no one's saying that doesn't happen. You know yeah, what I'm right. saying? We're not like, saying that at all. Like you know what I mean? You want to bring up pay pay gap and all that? Look, cool. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? You should put black man in front of that. Right. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, you know, to, but to add to that, like, yo, you can have your struggles and we can have our struggles. 
Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like both can be true. You know what I'm saying? What you saying about what's going on with women and discrimination and all this stuff, that can be true. But what like us as men, like you said, black men especially, yo, like the struggles we go through, those are those are also a thing. You know what I'm saying? Bigger facts. Bigger facts. Yeah, I think I'm up to the point now. I, I hear the damn, I hear the whoop whoop. I'm like, oh man. I don't know whether to reach for my wallet, put my Bruh. hands out the window, is it this the last day or what up? You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Yeah, we we, real. we live it, we we live in we live in the same world, just just different, just different, uh just different dimensions for real, for real, because we gotta it's certain things that black men have to deal with on a daily basis that a that a <laughs> What is that, AJ? We got a- AJ, <laughs> man. We we are podcasters, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, sir. I was watching the green screen. I had a good question, man. Before y'all let me go. All right. All right. What the hell is Demon Dog? <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> oh man. What is Demon Dog? All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We we gonna take all right. We gonna get back to what we were talking about. But okay. I have to explain what Demon Dong is real quick. All right, Demon Dong. Okay, all right. Demon Dong, right? Demon Dong is when you put that thing on a woman, and it don't matter what you do after that, she is stuck on your ass like, yeah, yeah. like like flies on shit. That is that that is okay. That is that Demon Dong. Okay, right. That's the Demon Dong. So, so it's like when Demon Tom meet Demon Dingling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Let me finish watching the uh the joint, man. Hey, y'all follow agree to disagree. Drink, drink, <laughs> All right, All AJ. Right. Sorry for that random interruption. Yo, shout out, shout out the cameraman, AJ <laughs> calling in, man. Yeah, AJ. man. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. All right, now as you were saying. Okay, where was where was I? Um shit. Right, man. Demon thing. Demon. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Goddamn demon diggly. Demon, demon dog, nigga. All right, no, we, we, we was talking about male spaces, though. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, male spaces. But. So, so what, what spaces What spaces do we have as males to actually, to actually talk about our issues and talk about our problems? So, is a podcast, podcast or two ago where we were talking about, um, how women don't like male podcasters because you know we like chatty cappies, like we talk too much. Like, no, like we giving y'all, we give y'all access to the like what Free say. Free say, yo, y'all giving us access to what y'all niggas talk about in the barbershop. Y'all niggas giving us access to, you know, saying certain avenues that we didn't even know y'all thought like that. We assumed y'all thought differently. You know what I'm saying? So what other spaces do we have to talk, you know what I'm saying, with each other? You know, other than the barber shops and podcasts, you know what I'm saying? Because we definitely can't talk to the women about it. Because when we talk to the women about it, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole nother issue. Well, you know me, man. I took my ass to the damn studio. We can talk all we want right there. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. And, that's, and that's a and that's a relief point for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up. Yeah. Do lay my shit down. Right. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just leave it all in the yeah. way. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Tell it like it is. Boom, you deal with it later when you listen to it. There for you, sure, there, for there sure. There you for go, sure. man. Put it put put it in your artwork, man. Put it in your artwork, man. But you know, besides, you know, I, I don't think there's any other spaces though, you know what I mean? Because I mean, like, if you look on TV, bro, they got all these different they, they got the view. Mm-hmm. Uh they got that uh what's that other show with the uh uh the circle or something like that. They got the circle. They got uh, the red table. Yeah, red table talk. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got they got all these different platforms on cable TV. This isn't just like YouTube. You know what I mean? Like right, 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 right. They got all kind of stuff on 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 cable TV. But like where where women can they can go on there and talk all kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I was watching one thing and, and the girl was talking about they was joking about cutting a man's dick off. Damn. You know what wow. I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah. Demon dong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cutting his demon dong off. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. Right. Yo. Episode 123. <laughs> demon dong, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yo. Like, if we was a group of dudes and we was out here and we we made a joke about a woman, like, yo, we'd be, we'd be canceled immediately. Yeah. Right? Like, like we, could, we could sit here and have, have, I don't know, what's... What's another uh, 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 a word for a view? We we couldn't have fucking the sight, you know what I'm saying, and a whole bunch of fucking right, right. Whole, the perspective. Whole, yeah, the perspective, and have a whole bunch of guys talking. Like, no, that's 
it's toxic, man. It's the toxicness for me. Like, no, shut your ass up, man. We doing the same thing that all the women on the view are doing. You just don't like it because it's coming from me. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, hey yo, every, hey yo, shout out to Stephen A. Smith, man. <laughs> yeah, like every every little guy's channel ain't got to be about sports. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's always like, like all we do is like some, all we do is sports. watch sports. Why sports go to strip clubs and play video games? It's and more. It's, it's, it's more to men than that. It's gonna be like a like like a thing that's for like generations to come. Like will. I'm gonna sound like Dragon Ball Z right now. <laughs> will, will men and women ever get along? Life, my nigga. Like, like, yeah, oh, we'll ever get along, bro? It's a, it's a, it's an ongoing thing, man. It's an ongoing thing until we come to a mutual agreement. Mm-hmm. Until I say this, I say this. It's just like, it's just like when you get when you get into a disagreement with your girl, right? And you right, you know, but she just don't want to admit that you right. That you know what I'm saying? And, and until she fucking breaks and be like, yeah, what? Well, you know, you know what, nigga? I right, whatever. When she gets, I right, whatever. That's the way she said, oh yeah, nigga, you right, you right. I I ain't got nothing leg to stand on right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't even mean nothing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 don't mean nothing. Man. <laughs> Done with it. Out of there. Out of there. Yeah, man. We we won't come together until we stop competing with each other mm-hmm. and we start to compliment each other. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's what it is, man. Men and women are meant to compliment each other. Absolutely. Not compete. And I think that's right. the, the the whole thing. It's like it's it's this back and forth competition. Like it's not a competition, mm-hmm. man. It's not. And so I think that's what we gotta the yeah. communication is like the total goal. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You got to communicate. Mm-hmm. Communicate. Right. Legit. Communicate. Right. Yeah. And communicate effectively. And women, y'all got to stop being disrespectful, man. Like, all right, let me tell you the most disrespectful thing a woman can say to a guy, man. Oh, the most man. disrespectful thing a woman say can say to a guy. Oh, you got mad girls, huh? What? 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 Like yo, like that's nuts. Like what are you, what are you doing, yo? What are you doing out here, yo? I was gonna say yeah, angel dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, I'm not the demon dog, the angel dog. <laughs> no man, no. But you, but you know, you know, you meet a girl or whatever. Like all right, boom. We at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Hey yo, Naeem, I wanna go talk to her. I go talk to the girl at the bar. Da da woo do yeah, shorty. Oh, you got mad bitches, huh? Like who says that? Who who opens a line like that? What if I came up to you and, and yo, you got mad niggas, huh? That's disrespectful yeah. as shit. Yeah. That's disrespectful yeah. as shit. Yeah. So you get what I get on that way. I get the don't treat me like a groupie. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's that it's that rapper mentality. If you do something, it's not even it's not even rapper mentality. If you do something and you're good at it, that's the line that you're gonna get. Like, yo, when I was taking pictures, nigga, you know I was I was the ace with the camera, nigga, in the club. Oh, don't treat me like these other hoes you be taking pictures with. Like, yo, what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? Like, I'm not even like, yo, what the what the fuck? Like, that's when you realize that's exactly what it is. Them. Sorry, yeah. For who watching at the end of the day, if you tell me and I ain't tell you I rap, I ain't tell you I do music, anything. I'm chilling to get to know you. When you find out that I rap, mm-hmm. you said talking about some, oh, don't treat me like a groovy off the rap, off the rip. I'm looking at you like, oh yeah, use a duck. Yeah, <laughs> like yo, like yo. I don't even tell, like yo. When I first started the podcast, I would let women know, oh yeah, I got a podcast. I do this, I do that. Yeah, da da whoop whoop da da da. I don't even like when when the when the approach. I don't even approach women like that anymore, bro. I don't even let them know I got a podcast. You gotta find that shit on your own. Follow me on social media, and you'll see that I got because that's all I, that's all that I fucking post. Because I'm all about the podcast, you know. Podcasts are making beats. Oh, don't treat me like. Don't be talk about me on the fucking podcast. Like, no, bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. It is. It's, it's, it's damn insulting, bro. It's like, come on, man. I wouldn't treat you like that. Like, why are you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Saying, right. It's, especially, it's right. Especially, yeah. Especially, we just met, and you already making these assumptions just based off, you know what I mean? Like what you heard, or you know what I mean? The little right. bit you do know about me, like you, you, what you see on social media, or what you yeah. see on the podcast. On the podcast, like, yo, look when I when I was fucking with Bobby Pin Bandit, right, bro, she. No lie, she sat right there where Crook was sitting, bro. 
She listened to the podcast and then thought it was about her. Bitch, I said this shit happened when I was in college. I didn't even know you back then. Like, the fuck are you talking about, yo? We need to go back in time to your college days. I know, bro. <laughs> this, this dude, this dude here had some wild yeah, college yeah, yeah, day. Yeah, no, like, oh, OZ, what? OZ, they say they can't hear you like that. You want, yeah, you want, yo, 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 yeah, me? you want to bring the mic closer like you rapping, and you. Oh, I gotta do one of these. I gotta work a little bit. Y'all got me? Can you hear me? Check, yeah, check. Yeah. You hear me? yeah, yeah, you good now. Right, you check. good now. You good right, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love us, love us, look good. All, All right, cool, cool. But yeah, man, like no, but like that's that's really what it be like. I just be like, damn, like. Why listen to the podcast if it's going to make you act like that? Like, just don't listen. I'm not pressed for you to listen to my podcast. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to get my following regardless. Yeah, like, yo, I'm personable. My co-host personable. My guest personable. Niggas in camera land personable. Like, yo, bro, I'm not even worried about that shit, yo. Yeah. Disrespect. They're judging you. Yeah, man. For real. Judging you off the rip. Yeah, man. Let- You're going to get judged, though. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it's going to happen. Don't, ex- don't, like... Just put that off. Don't write me off like I'm calling you some type of groupie or yeah. something like that because you know about what's going on. Like That's corny. Yeah, man. That's, that's that, corny. That shit wild as hell, man. But you know what, though? Um, one thing about it, though, I do enjoy I do enjoy a woman that, <clears throat> that knows how to set boundaries on shit like that. Mm-hmm. So this is what I say. So I dated this one young lady. She said, yo, your podcast made me feel some kind of way. However... I'm still going to subscribe to your Patreon. I'm not going to listen to your podcast, but I'm going to subscribe to your Patreon because I'm going to bring you in money every month. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be that little dollar, $5, $10, you know, whatever whatever tier I feel like I need to give to you so you can, you know, continue to do what you like. To, is what that you support, like to do? That is support. That is, is it? That is support, bro. That is, is support. That is support. Hey, look. No, is I, it? I, no I, I tell you, I'll tell you straight up, bro. I, t- I tell everybody. I say, look, bro. Just hit that like button. You ain't even got to watch the whole thing. Just hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? As simple as that. Because you put that shit in the algorithm for somebody else to watch it. That's going to like it. Because maybe if maybe what I'm talking about ain't your thing, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just hit that like button. Hit that like button for your boy. Why even do that if it's not what you 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 into? I'm not going to pay for something I'm not into if that's the case. Like, 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 I dropped my album, it took me three years to motherfucking do it, and somebody talking about, yeah, I bought your album, I'd be like, what song you listen to? they like, uh... Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, but but it's different, but it's different when you actually see their name on the Patreon list, but alright, well, she's subscribing, you know what I'm saying, she, she, you know, she literally donating to the cause. If that's really what it is, it's a donation. It's a donation. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? I think a woman like that makes a great fucking teammate. And that and that's and that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Like being a good woman is just being a good teammate. I don't know, man. I'm mad my chick ain't listening to my shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, and that's your prerogative, I don't care if you put money on whatever. If you don't know what's going on, I don't feel it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, you know I mean? all right. But I mean, you know, I mean, podcast world a little different. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's the algorithm, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, the yeah. Algorithm. We got, we got to play the up. like for that. Yo, if y'all watching this and y'all ain't like this shit, go ahead and like that shit. Bro. Yeah, because there's ahead. five niggas that sit reactions and there's seven of y'all niggas watching currently right now. Y'all d- press something. Hit, hit like, like, laugh, bro. get mad, sad, hit something. Like. It's, you know, it's se- we see y'all. It's seven it, of cause y'all all, niggas. Because all, all it does is just help the help the ag- algorithm. More people can see it. More people can get onto it. You right. know what I'm saying? And Bigger that's kind of, you know what I mean, with the, with the joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would love for, for y'all to watch. Just stick in, watch, watch the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the very least, like if you, especially if you say you you fuck with me, hit that like button. Y'all. Look, 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 it just went up. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, Seven. Hey. Thank you, Seven. Hey. Yeah, we see y'all. We see y'all. We appreciate it. Oh, that. we got eight. What's up? Oh, come, come on. on. Let's y'all. go. Let's we go. Love y'all. Somebody we hit love the y'all. sad face. Why, why you hit the sad oh. face, dog? <laughs> We love y'all though. <laughs> I, we appreciate the support though. Yeah, for sure, we, for we, sure. We appreciate the support. For you know sure, man, saying? for sure. So look, all right, you talking about teammates? Yeah. <laughs> Turn the volume down, nigga. <laughs> that nigga got the volume on high. That's it. That nigga came in like Tim's on Snoop Dogg. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> stupid man. That nigga stupid, bro. That nigga stupid. But uh, yo. Uh, my, oh, 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 let yeah, me, let, yeah, let, let, me let, yeah, right. let me get, let me get into this shit right here. All right. So look, so, um, 
it was a conversation between a group of friends, right? I was outside of this conversation, but they told me about it after the fact. And they told me about how they were talking about they were a great woman. I said, how the fuck? How the fuck are you a great woman? Mm. I said, didn't all your relationships fail? Mm. Like tragically, how the fuck are you a great woman? Mm. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like she was like, oh yeah, my my girls always come to me for advice because I'm a great woman. Y'all niggas always cheat on you. What? Mm. What? It's something that you missing out here. You not a great woman if your niggas is always cheating on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's a hard pill for y'all to swallow. I know, and y'all gonna hate me for oh, this. Jose, you want to talk about that one first? <laughs> I think. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know, if you, yo, you'd be surprised, bro. It'd be like a lot of, no disrespect, but you know the ones. It'd be a lot of joints that be delusional, like, yo, it's my fatty and it's nothing back there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like the delusions. I don't, like, I understand your, your ambition to try to keep a guy and hold it down and, but like he said, it's, it's always it's something that's not quite right to where this this person is stepping out. And then again, we could bump into the communication because it's up to him to start saying what he right, you know, right, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Um, yeah. Um, like I gotta say, man. Um, accountability, bro. Mm. Accountability. All right, yo. So look, man. Yo. Listen. Yo, quick man, right. then live. Like, yeah, that's that's this shit right yo, there. That's this shit right there. Listen, if you got, if you got like a, a bunch of failed relationships and stuff like that, you have you can't be talking about how great you are, mm. you know? because you got to take some accountability for that failed relationship. Absolutely. Something somewhere in that relationship, even if the dude cheated on you, somewhere mm-hmm. in that relationship, you did something wrong. Mm-hmm. Even if, at minimum, the thing that you did. Was pick the wrong nigga. Hey, God damn it. At minimum, that was your fault. At minimum, you picked them. You, you know what I'm saying? You picked them. That's deep. You know what I'm That's saying? deep. So That's you, deep. you got you got to take some kind of accountability. So you can't be over here like, yeah, I'm so great. And da, 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 but you picking all these well, by your by by your words, bum ass dudes. Right. You do, why are you okay? All these dudes are bums. Why are you picking them? He yeah. tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> why, why? I thought him had money. <laughs> he showed me that man. He tricked me. Hey, yo. Hey. Oh, my God. Yo, this nigga OZ is wild, man. Why is he here? Oh, my God. But, yeah, no, definitely, man. Definitely. Like, at the bare minimum. At the that's, bare minimum. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I don't, I want to say I don't respect, I don't, I don't understand why women will say that, you know, they always, they always play the victim and just mm. take no accountability, man. At the bare minimum, you know, you could say, yo, my other relationship didn't work out because I went for the wrong kind of guy. Cool. That shit, I can respect. I could be like, all right, cool. She, <clears throat> excuse me, she could say, I have... 12, 13, 14, 15 boyfriends in a year time span. Mm -hmm. Well, damn, why you been in so many relationships? I just kept picking the wrong nigga. Yo, that shit right there, I understand. Like, yo, so what are you doing different? So my follow-up question would be, what are you doing different now? Right. Yeah, and and, 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 and that's the thing. It's like, okay, if if your relationships are failing, you have to take some type of... You know what? Like, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. All right, yeah, but yeah, but 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 uh, to your point of doing something differently, you can't keep doing the same thing, dating the same type of dudes, and expecting different results. That is the definition of insanity. Mm. You know what I mean? So if you out here picking, hey, the you same, can't call them crazy though. You can't call them crazy because that's a whole that's a whole I cancellation. Didn't say crazy. I said insanity, which basically means the same thing. But that is the definition though. Doing the same thing and expecting different results. You are going for the same type of dudes? Mm-hmm. Oh, he got money. He dresses real nice. He tall. Like oh, that, that money. You know, money ain't going nowhere. They gonna want that, bro. And 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 and, and you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? He can rap. You know what I'm saying? He got you know what I mean? Like you going for the money you know. Yeah, like oh look, this is what killed me. Look, what he got he got potential. That's what killed me. Oh, yeah. 
this this is where a lot of I think a lot of relationships go south uh with most females because they come on a little too aggressive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They come on a little too strong. You just met the guy. You already talking about hey, that should be a limit on when you should call me pet names. Like don't bay me on day three. Like oh, uh, yo, if you if you if you giving me if you giving me uh um, little nicknames. Yo, ease that shit up. Yo, I won't, I won't, I won't call, I won't call a girl a pet name, at least, at least until we about three months in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 when I know you're gonna stick around. Cause if I can fuck with you for three months, that mean that mean you not getting on my nerves like that. So I'll be like, all right, cool. You you gonna be around for a little minute. You might be around for the six months, the nine months, the year, the, the lifetime. You know what I'm saying? You might be the ultimate partner. All right, cool. If you give me a pet name in the first month, I'm thinking in my head, how many other dudes have you this, have you given the, the same, same pet, pet name? name? The exact same pet name. <laughs> Easy, like you could get a pet name in two days. Yeah, know? right. You know? Bigger facts. Nah. Bigger facts. Be like, cool. Boom. Nah. They just used to that. Nah. But then that shows you nah. what that revolving door they nah. got. Nah, nah, you can't. I had a chick tell me. <laughs> she said, "You gonna be my husband, nigga? It's one weekend." Nope. That's what I'm saying. Hey. <laughs> What? <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Goodbye. Gotta go. <laughs> like you trying? You trying to scare him off? Gotta go. <laughs> you trying to scare the dude off? I had a chick like they be too aggressive, like, and then some stuff. Like I'm gonna keep it real. I understand being honest, ladies, but some of that shit from your past relationships. Keep that shit to yourself sometimes. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, uh, hey, yo, I know where you go with it. Go ahead, just, bro, just you take it. Go first. Just take it, bro. Just, just, take, it. just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. But that goes. I'm glad you said that because that goes right to the next topic. Mm-hmm. That goes right to the next topic. So the fuck it does. <laughs> that, the, the question was, how much does a? I'm not gonna say a woman, but your, your partner. Uh huh. How much does their past matter when you're dating? Right, and that's the question. I, that's the question I'm posing. Uh, which one of you fellas want to go I'm first? Sorry, as far bro, as I was, I was, I was zoning out. As I'm far as like, how much do, does when you dating someone? How much does their past matter to you? I go. I let, I let OZ go first. I take second. I take how second much does their past matter to me? I'm a guy that sits back and I'll let you talk. Uh, Forty eight laws of power. If you if you sit back and be quiet enough, people will tell you what up. Right. right. So, boom. Uh, it matters to me a lot as long as you don't s- give me red flags on crazy. Right. All right. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about everything that was going on. But when you when I start hearing violent stories, like I tried to run him over because he was down and out, and I, I, I bust his tires and did all this crazy stuff like that. That's yeah. when it get like, and mind you, I understand you living in your moment right now and telling me the story, but understand we ain't there yet. So I'm looking at you like, yo, this is a crazy random chick that I just met telling me the potential stuff that she's about to do. To me. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Bigger, 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 facts. bigger yeah. facts, bigger facts, bigger facts. Yeah, okay, because because I mean, if, if, if you talking about like, yeah, you know, my ex man, I try to run him over with my car. I'm thinking that okay, what you gonna do to me? You know what I'm saying? Later on down the road, if we don't. We don't work out. You know what I'm saying? Right. If things start to go shaky, you gonna run me over with your car? Right. I think I think it matters. I think it matters to me. It matters to me because of patterns. Because people are people are creatures of habit. Human beings are creatures of habit. Mm. So if you if 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 you have a tendency to do certain shit, like when women say, Oh, oh, I'm I'm a jealous individual. Well, why are you jealous? Because it's some it's something that created that pattern. And you need to figure that shit out because naturally. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be je- jealous of, you know, this one random woman that walked by me in the club and say, hey, you got a nice shirt on. Like, that shit shouldn't trigger you to have an event. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that, that's stupid to me. You know what right. I'm saying? Because if a nigga walked by you and we out, and he be like, yo, shorty, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with your look. And he keep walking. Yo, respect, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you kept it, you kept that shit moving. You know what I'm saying? That make me feel good. Like, damn, you looking at my chick. God damn, nigga. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, I'm, I'm with what you're saying. No, it, you're right. It is, it is about confidence, man. Because to me, 
I want dudes to be looking at my chick because if guys are looking at my girl, that means she is whoo, You know what I'm saying? She looking, banger. She looking bad. So if, if dudes like they some dudes supposed to be looking at your chick. Now they ain't supposed to uh, approach it disrespectful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That'll get you smacked. Yeah. But they, you know what I mean? They looking. I don't care. I don't yeah, care. Go facts. ahead. Go big ahead. Facts. Look, she coming home with me at the end of the day. So you just over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pick a fact. Pick a fact. We came together. We leaving together. We came together. You, you, you know, you can lust. You can lust over her as as long as you you want, bro. As long yeah, as, as long as you respect. As long as you respectful, bro. Yeah, them past them past relationships. That's that shit matters, man. Cause they it's like, yo, for one, are you are you even over that hurt that you were dealing with? Yo, mm. did you did you Talk heal yet? It. Did you right. heal yet? Before Talk you about coming it. into this, and then you know you coming into a new relationship, and you got this this. This mental and emotional baggage with you, and I might do something that shit. I might just train change the channel a certain way that your old dude used to do. You like why you doing that? Like like it's a whole thing for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta get over that and right. heal from that before you can even talk to somebody else. Right? You know what I'm saying? And one thing that's a red flag is if you get with someone and early on in the relationship. She's talking mad shit about her ex. Ooh. That is a red flag. And for guys, for guys too, if women, right. if women, if you, if you, right. if a guy comes in, he yeah. starts talking mad shit yeah. about it's about the ex. That is, that is right. That is, that is, yeah. that is a big red flag. On top of that, if they, if they talk badly about the relationship, but then on the, on the same, um, on the same uh, turn don't take any accountability to what they did. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I didn't do anything wrong. It was all that person. Right. If they, if they do that, if they don't even admit that they chose the wrong fucking if they, person, if they don't take any responsibility, that means they're not they they, they didn't change because mm -hmm. they see no reason to change. Right. Because in their mind, they did nothing wrong. Yeah. They, they perfect. They got that. They got that god complex, man. And you know what? The the thing. The, yeah. They got. The, they got. The, <laughs> that's Jesus. what the, the, the Jesus complex. That's what the fuck y'all got. Y'all got that fucking Jesus complex. That Yeezus complex will get y'all in trouble every fucking time, yo. Because what it is, is you think that everything that you do is right. And you don't see the wrong behind the actions that you make. It's consequences behind everything that we do. And you don't understand that. If you don't understand that, how the fuck are you supposed to grow? Mm. Mm. And how does Kanye West pray anyway? Like, since his name Yeezus, like, does he get down on both <laughs> knees and say, Dear me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to myself today to ask if I could grab me. I didn't ever think about yeah, it. Is, anyway, but Kanye yeah. just be going around like, oh, thank Kanye. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank, thank, thank me. Thank, thank me for this, <laughs> this, this, this delicious dinner that we are about to eat today. That nigga, that nigga prayed over Don to like, thank me for this good music. Like, yeah. what the fuck, man? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Lord, Lord, <laughs> oh, you look, are you looking at the comments, dog? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that Kanye. <laughs> All right. Oh shit. So I got I got another question, bro. That's gonna stir the pot a little bit. All right, what's up, man? What's up? This is what I like. I like when I even come with, with random topics, man. I don't know what the fuck he about to say. All right, speaking about the past, right? Mm -hmm. How much does body count matter? It really, I'm a, honestly, it really shouldn't matter though, to be honest with you, because I mean, you do what you do. You know okay. What I mean? Okay. But like I said, go back into bragging rights. If you sitting out here like, oh yeah, I did it, did it, did it, then I gotta look at you like, yo, don't make me look at you as a slut. I mean, every all of us was some type of like right. poorish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look how you talking about how your college life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my like, shit, my shit was wild, mean? dog. My shit but was wild. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be a factory until where I'm at in this stage I'm at now. You know what I, I mean? I got a I got a different point. I'm gonna tell I'm a, I'm, I'm a I got a different perspective as well. Body count We talk yeah, of course. Body count matters. Sorry, man. It, ma it matters. It matters. It matters when that thing ain't like it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> if that, if that thing ain't. Right. If that thing ain't. If that thing ain't. If that thing ain't. If that thing ain't. You got a little. She ain't taking enough. Just a little. She ain't taking enough baths. 
It's like throwing a rock down the hallway. All right, so look. All right, so look, fellas. For me, for me, that shit matters. I'm gonna tell you why it matters. Because if you wasn't a slut back in the day, I can't fuck with you because I'm not teaching you shit. Oh, yeah. I'm 33 to fuck years old, getting ready to turn 34. I'm not teaching you a motherfucker. Why do I got to teach you how to suck my dick? You supposed to read body language. Yeah, like you supposed to leave, like you supposed to read yeah. body language. You supposed to you supposed to do do your little tricks and find the one that works and be like, yeah, That's yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come That's on, man. One. Yeah, that's it. Hold on, we got we got a couple of comments. I still one. It shouldn't matter with the body count. Okay, all right. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, but what if the body? All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go, because I ain't say my piece yet. Okay, so, all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So I will gladly pick off from that point. Right? Okay. So let me, let me let me throw it back on the screen. Go ahead. Speaking of which, right? If you and I've always if you got a body count. That shit better be spread the fuck out. Because last thing I want to do, and everywhere we go, we running into somebody that done, oh, done knock you down. Yeah, yeah, everywhere we go, everywhere we go, homie like, oh, People yeah, bro, you know, know. Shorty over there, yeah, bro, I had her like, black, you know what I'm saying? I had her down on the, bro, you don't want people talking about your queen like that, bro. Oh, everywhere, everywhere you go. Oh, hey, yo, her, she can suck a needle. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, demon mouth. <laughs> she got that soul snatcher. Hey, that, yo, that soul snatcher, <laughs> bro. You, bro, that's that, bro. That's embarrassing, bro. Like everywhere you go, like this, and we, mm, I don't want to say this, but you know what I'm saying. We, you know, somebody yep. who who been around the crew. Right, right, you know right, right. And like, bro, oh, loving when, the crew, bro. Oh, we you, loving the crew. You, you don't want someone who is like, you know what I'm saying? Like the neighborhood hope. You get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you do got the a cum body, dumpster, right? You, let that drug be spread <laughs> out. Like you don't, yeah, don't tell me nothing about something that's right because because right. the, <laughs> the, the cum dumpster. You don't want the cum dumpster. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to call your court. You, you don't want. You don't want niggas to call your queen to come dumpster. Yeah, right. You don't want your homeboy to call your queen to come dumpster. Loser. Everybody getting their CDMs. Yeah, oh my God. That nigga CDMs. Your CDMs. I'm going to have to use that. Man. Yeah, use that. That's yeah. a CDL right there. Yeah. But yeah, man. Like, yeah, but you can't deal with this nigga, bro. If you got the body that you got, if you got a homie body, don't let it be a body that's like recent or it's yeah, against us while we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah, yeah. that becomes a little bit of an issue. Right, 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 right. right. Only a man, if you man enough to push it off or right. if you weak female enough to push it off and be like, all right, but I can still deal with you. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. no, no, that brings me to another point. That brings me to a point, man. Yeah. This is This goes for men and women, yo. Don't be cop blocking your fucking homies, yo. Because just because the shit didn't work out for you, you know what I'm saying? Now, now it's homie cold now. No, 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 wait, 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 you know what I'm saying? And the shit was years ago, like 10, 12, 13, 14 years ago. Nigga, let that shit the fuck go. Nigga, if that shit happened in high school, let that shit the fuck go, bro. Because she wasn't for you, but she might be for your homeboy. Just be happy for your homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Let that shit the you, fuck go. It's a small world out here, man. You know what it is? <laughs> What's up? You know what it is? <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> People put claims on things that don't belong to them. Ooh. That nigga look like an infomercial right now, yo. Talk to him. For 99 cents, you're going to get this stone hard cold truth. <laughs> People put claims on things that don't belong to them. Now, at the end of the day, you can smash something. She can smash something. At the end of the day, D said, your belongings, your, your giblets, and those are her giblets and things of that nature. Fucking they, giblets. Hey, look, that's what we're going to call it when I'm doing it. All right, all right, all right you got it. All right, so boom, she going to give her giblets to who she want to give it to. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't control that. That's her shit. Legit. At the end of the day. Oh, man, that's me. I did. No, 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 no. Shit. 
take two people, man. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yep. It, otherwise, then it's some it's some rape shit. <laughs> but what you hey, bro, you got you got, you got to chill, shirt, bro. You got to chill. You just said some my shit. <laughs> you know, I'm following you. <laughs> shit. You know, but then that's where you're going to. Would you rather your homie tell you or your shorty tell you? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And then that's where it gets into. That's where it gets sticky again. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For yeah, sure. I hate that shit, man. <laughs> That shit belongs to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, AJ, AJ said, you got to chill, bro. <laughs> look, they said big facts. They're like, you ain't talking that shit. <laughs> nigga said, get that shit, bro. <laughs> shit, it ain't yours. <laughs> she decided she wanted to get it up. Hey, yo, the funniest shit this whole podcast was fucking gibberish, yo. I swear, I swear to God. That's funny, shit. Hey, yo, I'm going to see I'm going to steal that shit, bro. I'm going to steal that shit. That's a Patreon episode. We're going to talk about gibberish, bro. We're going to talk about fucking gibberish, bro. Yeah, man, that man. nigga AJ said I'm pulling out after, bro. <laughs> nigga, what have you ever? Never mind. Hey yo, AJ, I love you, bro. I love you. I swear to God, I do, bro. Hey yo, so look, man. Um, <laughs> it don't belong to you. At the end of the day, true indeed. Yeah. Unless you, unless you, what Beyonce say, if you like it, you should have put a ring on. Don't be mm. mad when you see that he won. And you know, Beyonce controls half of these women's minds. Mm. Yep. <laughs> this nigga AJ said he all the way. Nigga, we about done. You talking about something, you all the way. Nigga, you should have been all the way at 30 something minutes. Nigga, we almost oh, done. Oh, 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 oh. Nigga, we almost done, nigga. We about to, we about to head out. We going to justice tonight, nigga. Hey, look, Damn. I, 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 will, I will say this. Bro, if you my boy though, know, leave leave my baby mom alone. I don't want my yeah, kids yeah. calling you. See, look, I, no, my kids ain't calling my, my, my homeboy. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. I said, my kids I, ain't I calling said, my homeboy. I said that. Man. I said that. If, it, me, if it's bro. if it's Respect, yeah. yeah, if it's kids involved, oh, leave that shit the fuck <laughs> alone, man. bro. Because leave that shit alone. No, but then no. again, you gotta look like it's fucked up. It's not fucked up because it is fucked up. No, because you don't know who you gonna love at the end of the day. His, so listen, no. hold on. Because a nigga messed up, he got damn the boot back. It's your man's, but whatever the fuck, however destiny yeah. had made it to so you, happen. Uh, all right, uh-huh. look at me, motherfucker. No, I got, I got, I got, I got it. Just so happen, if they find love with each other, who are you to stop these people love? Man, put that camera on. I, yo, bro, I can't, hey, I can't condone that shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you knew that was my baby mama, bro. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got no business yeah. falling in fucking love. Yeah. Why y'all even talk? You know what? Yeah. Matter of fact, bro, block her. <laughs> block, block my baby. You friend, block, block her ass, bro. Block her ass, bro. Yo, you got no business. You better not fall in love with me. Like, oh, you better not fall in love with me. You better not fall in love with me. Yo, nigga, why you bring them down home? And I was there's thinking about that women out here. Yo, there's, too, there's too many women out here. See, it happens. But see, now you gotta put it. You gotta put an age perspective on things. So okay. Talking, so I'm a little older, so you know what I'm saying. Okay. When when you, what's gonna make you happy is what's gonna make you happy. You only okay. here for a little bit. All so right, whatever's bro. gonna make you happy, that's what you wanna do. Yeah. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Regardless. Why I'm gonna spend the rest of my life miserable if this is what really makes me happy. If this is what it is for real, for real, and that shit really make me happy, and I'm like, damn, somebody gotta go, whether it's you or her. Somebody gotta go, cause I'm not happy. And I'm about- Yo, this is nigga really OZ, OZ, can you grab that door for me, bro? This nigga really came. Yo, this nigga AJ is at the door. Nah, that ain't AJ. Oh, that's oh, oh right. hey, Reach hey. <laughs> Yeah. Lock the door behind you, lock the door behind you. All right, we get ready to get up out of here, man. All right, we get ready to get up out of here, man. Um, y'all make sure y'all follow uh the podcast, uh, Drake's Discussion Podcast, D and D Podcast Take on uh Instagram. D and D Podcast on. Can we can we get through this shit, please? Can we get through this shit, please? D and D Podcast on Instagram, Drake's Discussion Podcast on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you follow me, King Bot K B and G B A K on all social media platforms. Follow my man Primetime Naeem at Primetime underscore Naeem. Um, and also agree to disagree on YouTube. Follow my man on Facebook. Oh, and on Facebook, follow my man Oz the Hitmaker. At 
Ozzy the Hitmaker yeah, on Facebook. Shit. Episode 123, you know what oh, it is. Ozzy the Hitmaker on everything. One, two, three. Hey, yo, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right. Oh, and uh, yeah, I just dropped the video. So if y'all want to hear more about that Demon Dome, <laughs> <laughs> check your boy out on YouTube. Agree the number two, disagree, huh? All right, man. Check look, your boy. Yo, Crook, thank you for coming through. OZ, yeah, thank you for coming through. Yeah, man. Had a great time. Yeah, OZ, thank you for coming through, no brother. Problem. I love you, man. Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. all right. We out of here, man. Peace. <laughs>